Hi. Um, I'm going to call you the crew because I don't speak German and I'm going to mess that up royally. <laughs> I'm going to say hi to Benjamin and the crew of RE. How are you? Um, thank you so much for this question um, because I can honestly tell you that um, David Galanter's Dead Endless was um, crucial, was vital. Um, to helping ignite and catalyze my imagination as I was preparing um, for season two. And um, I got to speak to David uh, a, a number of times through Twitter about the book. Um, you know, the thing about the book is that it's not exactly what ha what it, 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 it it takes place on a um, on a different timeline, um, apparently. Uh, so it's a it's a different Culver than and Stamets than the one we are accustomed to seeing. But that said, um, I'll tell you what it helped me with. It helped me to imagine what the mycelial network. Um, was like for him. I had started to imagine and I started to have my own um, ideas of what he endured, of what Culver endured while being in that, that network. Um, but reading the book really helped me um, escape into that reality for a few times. It helped me it helped guide me into it. And so when I came to the work of those scenes in that season where he was coming back to life, um, I used a lot of that imagery um, in my work. And I would go back to it and refer to it um, just to prepare myself emotionally. Um, so much of our work happens in our heads, you know, um, so much of our work is stuff that you guys don't even see or get to know about, but that allows us to um, feel more, um, it helps us to feel more um, connected to the imagined moment, if that makes any sense. So anyway, um, I'm really grateful to you for this question. And um, I want you to also know that I have um, really enjoyed um, the German fans and I've enjoyed coming to Germany and I it really, really enjoyed my time, my week in Berlin, um, actually right after um, that season where I came back to life. Um, I think it was that season or was it the one? Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway. Thank you for this question. I, I, I'm sending you love and um, thank you. Take good care.